So we got Josh Talley coming over right now to join us here at CT's Hideout. First off, congratulations on the victory tonight, Josh. Uh, last week against Jacksonville, you saw a, the football a lot more than you did tonight, but uh, starting to try to grab the reins of being that lead back. Last week against Jacksonville in that last final drive, what was going through your mind as you continue to be able to grind out the yards and grind out the yards? Was just put, let's just put this game away, keep giving me the rock, boys? Uh, pretty much. I mean, I just, uh, we were just trying to run out the clock, you know, not the defense was doing their job, not let them score, and we just wanted to try to get one more point up on the board so we could have a comfortable lead and know that the game was pretty much put away. And you did just that. So you had an excellent game against Jacksonville. Tonight, you guys take on Charleston. And I got to ask you about Tyler DeRozier. It seemed like he was a caged animal release tonight. After missing those two games, it looked like there was nothing more he wanted to do than hit somebody. And what did that do to your offense when you saw him level somebody on the first play <laughs> of the game? You know, Tyler, he just, he just brings another element to our team. You know, he's just a great motivator he's a great leader for the team and he really was just a ca uh, uncaged animal you know he just loves hitting it I think he just he he thrives on hitting people that's that's how he gets his energy and you know he's a big he's a really big kid and he's a great leader to the team and the other running backs so when he makes plays everybody else just wants to make plays so I got to ask you about that too the amount of running back you guys have on the team I mean there is a wealth of uh, talent there in the backfield and it looks like you guys all pick each other up. It can be very, very easy for someone to go, oh, no, I'm not getting my carries, whatever. But it doesn't seem like there's any of that type of attitude. You just guys want to get the job done, whatever it takes. Yeah, I mean, we all we all try to work as a unit. And honestly, I think we all have our own different types of running styles. DeRozier, he's, he's a hard nose, straight up the field back. Uh, I kind of just do a little bit of everything. JD's another hard nose back. Aaron, he he jukes. Um, Damian got in there a little bit. Yeah. He just got off an uh, injury. Damian's a great back. So we all just bring a different thing to the backfield in it. Once we all get going, it's going to be hard to stop. Well, I got to ask you, too, uh, when the play comes in from the sideline where you split out at the slot and Dan Helms, the running back, what what goes through your mind at, at that point going, all right, let's see how this works? Well, I, Dan, you can just put him anywhere on the field and he's going to do good. Uh, we started calling him Brandon Jacobs at practice because <laughs> <Nice. laughs> he's just a tall person in the backfield. But, I mean, Daniel's just a great, great kid, great uh, athlete. He can do anything on the field, so... I was just going to say, I got a question. Um, with the way this defense has been playing the last three weeks, only having surrendered 14 points in three games, how much pressure does that take off the offense to know that, I, well, I mean, not, I guess not necessarily take off pressure, but does that guys make you work harder knowing that, you know what, if we go out and handle our business, we got we can handle this? Yeah, you know, the defense, they've been getting it done, and honestly, I think it just makes us want to step up and do our job more because they're doing their job. They're keeping the other team off the scoreboard. So that's putting pressure on us to get points on the scoreboard. And our offense has been getting better week to week, and I think we'll just keep, keep getting better every week. So I, I have to give it to the defense. They're just doing a great job. Look out, Central State 8. Brian, <laughs> I, have to, I, and I have to admit something to you, Josh. Your uh, second touchdown run last week at Jacksonville, I kind of lost sight of you. <laughs> at about the 10-yard line, it was, all of a sudden we saw you celebrating in the end zone, and we've kind of said, you know, we kind of called you the pinball the way you run. We talked to your parents afterwards. They're like, he doesn't really care for that nickname. They, they said the Sly Fox. What, what, what would you kind of like your nickname to be as we go along in the broadcast? Yeah, we'll give you the choice Cause, here. Because we kind of compare you to, to, to Doug Martin, the muscle hamster. Yeah, that, a lot of my teammates call me that. Okay. Uh, uh, I think... I think it was last year at Jerseyville. The sports uh, radio guy down there gave me that nickname, and it stuck. So okay. I just, I guess I just stuck. Uh, I'll have that one. All right, there we go. So, okay. so Doug Martin, you got a second muscle hamster there here, you go. here in Chatham. Well, we appreciate you taking the time because we got some other guys lined up here. That thank you very much, Josh. Thank you. And uh, best of luck going forward. Look forward to the thank game you. next week against Good Lincoln. Luck, All right, that was.